And we are back for round two. Hello everyone, my name is Alara. I'm a freshman in the SFS from Istanbul and Toronto. For the past few weeks, I've been recording my experiences at SHIP. Since a lot of freshmen and transfer students have not gotten their campus college experience, Georgetown decided to invite everyone back for the summer to take classes and meet professors and finally just get that university dorm, all of that. In this five week program, I wanna show all you guys people I've been meeting, the things I've been doing in DC, all things Georgetown. My first video recap my transition, what it was like as an international student flying 13 hours to get here, uh, what was the move-in like, how was it lugging around three, three, four, four suitcases? In this video, we're gonna talk about how after the transition, what I've been doing on campus. Okay, full disclosure, I fully did not think I would make it to Georgetown. I thought I'd just be a graduate of Zoom 2024, and I had accepted it as I uh, woke up for my 3 a.m. classes in Istanbul with an eight-hour time difference, but we actually made it. Walking around on campus, I am just smiling like a maniac because I'm here. I have been looking forward to this moment for a year and a half since, what, April 2020, and I'm here. Wow. I think the campus is so, so gorgeous. One of my favorite things is actually hearing the bells. So the bells at Georgetown go off every 15 minutes. And I think it just warms my day. But within the first week of coming here, we had this huge invite. Everyone gathered in the stadium and President DeJoya had his uh, welcome remarks. My favorite activity at Georgetown has actually been finding study spots. Of course, you can do the standard going to Lao, the Georgetown library, and studying there. But I think because the weather's nice-ish. So we are getting soaked currently, um, as you can see. Just Georgetown things. Just Georgetown things. But because the weather is good enough, I love being outside. Uh, sometimes I find these spots on the terrace. We found this little spot to uh, study at. Let me show you around. Got my reading. So quiet. The way classes work at SHIP is that you can take the standard uh, courses that you take in the fall or the spring, but it's in a condensed five-week version. Or you can take these one-credit experiential learning type courses. This semester, I am taking Comparative Political Systems, which is a core requirement. Last week, I actually had a midterm. Here is me freaking out about that. Got my first midterm today for my Comparative Political Systems class. I grabbed my breakfast from Leo's in my PJs. Wish me luck. So a lot of the classes are actually back in person, even though they are socially distanced and we do wear masks inside. Uh, I wrote my first handwritten closed book exam in a year and a half. My handwriting has gotten so bad, I didn't realize how much I had missed those late night uh, panicked study sessions. So that was my three credit course. Uh, for my one credit courses, here's a clip of me in Remaking Your World. So this is like an art uh, installation course. We're learning guerrilla art, 3D printer, this is what we made today. Yes, look at our measure sticks. <laughs> Where are you? You are not a true college student until you've done laundry in the laundry room. So it's like in this basement area. Uh, it was fun, it was fun. Big shout out to Leo's Dining Hall. So this is where the freshmen and the people on campus are getting their food. This is like a cafeteria style. There are different stations. Shout out to the Halal station, my absolute favorite. So yeah, we just chill there. So as a quarantine hobby, I picked up running and I feel like I was just so desperate to do something. I was like, let's go on a run. Mm -hmm. During ship, a few of the runners have actually gathered. We've just been visiting different sites. So some of the clips you'll see here is us visiting National Cathedral. To the National Cathedral. Yeah, right. We also went to Embassy Row, DuPont Circle, Lincoln Memorial. The funny thing is I've only been sightseeing while running. <laughs> So I just need to actually go to like around DC and not uh, be dying in the process. Every floor actually has a student common room with a fully equipped kitchen. So we decided to make the best use of that. A few friends and I gathered to make pie. Here we go. Look at that creation. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
Another thing I've been loving in SHIP is how we have these on-campus events. So first one you see here is the SFS picnic. We are at the SFS picnic where the SFSers on campus actually gathered in Red Square. Uh, we got to meet our deans. But first, a word from the wonderful dean of the SFS, Dean Hellman. Hi, shipmates. I'm Joel Hellman. I'm dean of the School of Foreign Service. I am so thrilled that you're all back on campus again. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're revving up for an exciting fall. We're excited to have you. It's great that you're here. I can't wait to see you again in the fall. Take care, everyone. And I finally picked up some merch. We are a Georgetown student at last. Another on-campus event was a cookout in honor of Juneteenth. They served soul food, we gathered around on Healy Lawn, and it was a very nice experience. Another event that you guys are just gonna freak out at is that John also came to campus. So he is also an SFS graduate. What a beautiful man. He came to campus to do a Q&A. Unfortunately, I didn't make the in-person event, so I just listened in on Zoom. But I'm not worried because he loves Georgetown. He's a very proud Hoya and he's definitely gonna come back to campus. And finally, I feel like the best place to end this video is our favorite Hoya, Jack. So Jack the Bulldog is Georgetown's mascot. And the funny story about his name, they tried calling the original mascot Hoya, but he would only answer to Jack, his original name. And right now, decades later, our mascot is still Jack the Bulldog. I was starstruck. I met a celebrity. John Oso, if you've got competition. I can't wait for everyone finally coming back in the fall to just see their friends again and having those connections face to face, going out. It has been such a pleasure. This wraps up our second video of the SHIP series. I'm so glad you tuned in for on-campus events. So Georgetown always flaunts how the city is our campus. And next video, I'm definitely gonna prove that. See you guys soon. Make sure to stay tuned in.